Matt here with Mr. Energy. Hey, we've got our old wood stove insert that we we're working on, and we've got three things that we're gonna do to it. Number one, we're adding combustion air. Number two, we're adding legs to it. And number three, we're going to add a pipe connector or a collar and virtually make a stove insert a freestanding wood stove. So just getting everything out of it and getting it cleaned up a little bit. We need to lift it up to have easier access inside. This is where we're adding that extra combustion air. We're also going to add a second row of bricks for the baffle. So one in the back and then one in the front. And this is our combustion air. Putting the air where we want it to make the fire burn cleaner and more efficient. Save you money on wood. We have a piece of three quarter inch pipe. We're creating for the bracket to connect our stainless tube to the wood stove. Cutting the holes for that airflow. One on each side. Here's a complete look at the firebox with the baffle bricks in place and that extra combustion air. On to the next step, installing the legs. That's a 15 degree angle and nine inches long. We need to cut four of them. And this is a bracket for the leg leveler. Any uneven surface, you'll be able to level up your stove and make it sturdy. Getting it cleaned up and squared with a mark and ready to weld. Not gonna hurt my back. All right, next step, we're getting this collar or our pipe connector installed. This is a piece of two inch by one eighth flat bar steel.
filling in all the gaps, getting the welded all the way around. And one more pass to make it look really nice. Overall, this project took me about three days. Last step, just getting the glass nice and clean. We've got some stove glass polish. Works really good. Just add some elbow grease. And we are very close to getting it ready for a test fire. Here it is. This stove worked a lot better than I even expected. Thank you so much for watching. Keep working hard, be creative, and always do your best. We'll see you on the next video.